Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much for joining me here. So today we're gonna do another pick a card reading and today we're gonna see who is, who is obsessed with you, what are they thinking about you, and what do they want from you. <laughs> that is right, we're gonna get into it. So this should be a fun reading. I'm really looking forward to it. And just keep in mind that these are general readings. If the messages aren't resonating for you, that's okay. You can always pick a different pile. That one might resonate more with you. And here we have our three different piles here. Well, it's really one card. We're gonna just do it as it comes, but these are the three groups. So we have group one, group two, and group three. You are welcome to pause the video, meditate on the cards, see which one is really calling your name. And then when you're ready, I'm gonna have the timestamps linked in the description box. So you just click on your group and we'll be ready to go. And that's it. I don't really have much more to say, except let's get into it. So. I will, thanks so much for joining me again, and I will see you in your reading. Hi group number one, welcome to your reading. Thanks so much for joining me here. So let's find out who is secretly obsessed with you. And to start it off, we have the groups. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. So your person, they could be really into music. They could be a musician, a DJ, a singer. Uh, they could be a dancer or just someone that really likes to dance and express themselves. Uh, maybe someone who's an MC, you know, just creative. Or it could just be a creative type person um, is obsessed with you right now and they are thinking about you. So let's see. All right, so here we have the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. So this person could be really traditional, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're thinking about you like, hmm, maybe that could be my baby mama or my baby daddy, you know what I mean? Like, they're thinking of the long haul kind of thing, and they have a lot of passion. They're super passionate about you. They are, you know, wanting to make a move, wanting to come at you. Uh, they might be a little bit kind of sneaky, like not fully being upfront with you, not fully showing all of themselves to you. It may be because they have some sort of fear of rejection or something like that. So they're kind of like, they're putting their best foot forward. You know what I'm saying? Like they're trying to show you the best of themselves, their enthusiasm, their uh, fiery personality. They want to show off for you. They want to grab your attention. And they are, they're feeling a little bit, uh, here you have the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So they're feeling a little bit run down and they're kind of in a negative sort of space right now. And they're kind of seeing you as the person who can bring them out of what they're dealing with. Like they're just feeling you know, having lots of negative thoughts about themselves. It could be about their situation in life. It could be about their work situation. It could be anything in their life. They're just really out of place of just not, just feeling burdened and feeling like they can't go on and just not feeling very good. And so they're kind of seeing you as, you know, this strong person who, if they had you in their life, you know, maybe you could lift them up, maybe you could help them, maybe you could, uh, you know, give them a bit of your strength and make them feel like, okay, like, 
maybe nothing else is working, but at least I got this wonderful person in my life. And that could be a reason that they don't really want to show you everything. They don't really want to show you their uh, true, what's really going on for them right now, because they're like, man, if I show this to that person, like they're not going to be interested. Like they, they don't want that in their lives. So they're just bringing a lot of like, you know, the best side of them, that enthusiastic, fun, you know, uh, just like enjoyable energy. That's what they're bringing to you. But underneath it all, uh, they're harboring a little, a little, uh, difficulty and they're seeing you as someone who may be able to pull them through this because you are so strong and you're just upfront and truthful and honest. And they really appreciate that about you. And they really want here we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, and the King of Wands. So they're really wanting to turn a new leaf. You know what I'm saying? Here we have the Wheel of Fortune, and here we have the Chariot and the King of Wands. So they're wanting to enter a new cycle in their life. They're wanting to get out of the funk that they're in, get out of the negativity. And they are moving towards that direction because here we have the Ten of Swords. So this is like the end of that. And they're seeing you as someone who's going to help in their life, like help them move forward. And they're going to move into, you know, away from this kind of defeated nines of wands energy, like can't go on, like having a difficult time to this king of wands energy that's just like on top of the world, you know, going after their passions, going after their dreams, believing in themselves, knowing that they can do it, as well as here just like forward progression, you know what I mean? Like going after their goals, in the driver's seat type of thing. And they're seeing you right now as, you know, this is the goal that they're wanting. They're wanting you in their life. They're moving towards you. Uh, they're really seeing that you are going to benefit their lives as well. And they wanna show up for you. You know what I'm saying? They're showing you this kind of like, uh, queen of wands, energetic energy. And then, you know, they're this creative type. So they are wanting to be more creative and just moving forward with you in a really kind of fun, positive sort of way. And, you know, being around you makes them feel like they can, it's given them inspiration. You know what I'm saying? To do their creative endeavors. So they're really, it's looking like, you know, they're really, they're really into you and they're really wanting kind of you in their life. They're loving your sort of energy and what they think you can bring to the table. And they also want to, you know, turn that new wheel. Like they want to show up better for you, for themselves. They want to get out of that funk. So that's what I see going on here. And let's see, let's clarify. Let's clarify the Hierophant. Page of Cups. So, yeah, they're just really, you know, looking forward to any type of good news that they can get from you uh, in terms of like, you know, moving in more of a traditional sort of relationship type of thing. Like they're really hoping for some sort of, you know, commitment in the long run. And they're like, you know, that's what I want to hear from them. That's, that's the direction that I want to go. And let's clarify the Ten of Swords. the eight of cups. So they are really ready to leave this behind. They're ready to leave that negative energy. They're ready to, uh, you know, move on. They're like, I'm done with it. 
I want something new and they're seeing like this they're seeing you and just moving forward as like a, a little nice pretty package and they're they're super that's the direction that they want to go see what I'm saying they're like they're headed in that direction and let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The tower. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, the old has to come crumbling down before they can, uh, before they can really move on and uh, move into this new state of being. It's like this old, this old energy, uh, whatever, whatever it was, you know, that they're kind of not wanting to show you, that they're kind of hiding from, or that they're just not wanting, you know, maybe they're, they're ashamed of some things or something like that. Like that's all got to go before they can really, you know, show up as this person that they want to be as, uh, yeah, as just, the life that they want to live like something old is kind of crumbling it's dying it's going away but it's a really good positive thing like they're going to be able to move into their power and uh and be you know the person that you're wanting i'm sure you're wanting their best kind of qualities and that's really what they're they're uh, moving towards as well but let's see what the oracles oracles got for you All right, this, this one jumped out, but I lost it. <laughs> Come here. Well, I guess it's three. All right. We have the dog spirit, the groundhog spirit, and the hawk spirit. So be loyal to what you love, time to let go, and let spirit be your guide. Be loyal to what you love. So this person, you know, they're into traditional values and things like that. If, uh, if this goes somewhere, they're going to be super loyal to you. Like they're not going to be the type of person that you're going to have to worry that they're out running around when they're away from you. It's like, you're going to have that trust, that bond, and you're going to feel comfortable knowing like what they're out doing and stuff like that. The groundhog spirit, time to let go. So it is time for them to let go of this negative energy that's holding them back, you know, take off the mask, be real. They need to really like talk about what's going on instead of trying to uh, just pretend it's not there and pretend that everything's okay just because they want to show up for you. Like they think that that's what you want, but it's not what you want, is it? Like you wanna be real, you wanna help move them through their, their issues. If they wanna be better, like that's amazing. You know what I mean? All right, and then you have the hot spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Let spirit be your guide. So yeah, they just, you know, it's time for them to just surrender a little bit, you know. Um, trust in the happenings if it's meant to happen it's going to happen and it looks like they are turning the new wheel they are going towards you full force and they are definitely wanting something solid with you and then we have our other oracle let's see what we got going on here You have sustenance, insight, and harmony. Sustenance, insight, and harmony. So yeah, definitely they feel like more balance when they're around you. There's just something about your energies so that just makes them feel calm, at peace. They just cannot get enough of it. They just feel like, you know, they're really drawn to you and they feel it kind of like on an intuitive level as well it's not just it's not just about your physical appearance you know what i mean it's like they feel a strong connection and they uh yeah they want it they want it 
and sustenance. You really like feed them, you know, on an emotional level. Um, feed them with your with your incredible energy and just the attention that you give them and uh, they we'll leave those there they they into you we'll just say that they into you all right and then we're just gonna end this reading with a quote because why not <laughs> quotes are awesome uh, let's see let's see what quote we have for you today Be careful how you talk to yourself because you are listening. Yes, that is such a good quote. Be careful how you talk to yourself because you are listening. It's so important how we talk to ourselves, you know what I mean? That's what creates how we feel, how we like really show up like the, yeah, I feel like you're, this person here probably is struggling a bit with that, with like self-esteem and how they're talking to themselves and stuff like that. But if they're able to, you know, connect into their, you know, true self, their divine guidance, they're going to be able to move through those sorts of things and um, develop more just kind of positive self-talk and just really, really believing in themselves, you know? It's really important. It's important for you as well. We gotta believe in ourselves. All right, my friends, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped and that's all I have for you today. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, group number two. Welcome to your reading. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much for joining me. So here we have the unicorn. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some sort of artistic expression. So your person could be really artistic, they could be a painter, they could be a draw drawer, they could be just any sort of artistic thing. They could just be very artistic and they might be you know, a colorful dresser, they might be a little bit showy, and things like that. They also might be really connected in with their spiritual side and just interested in more of the magical, mystical things uh, in this reality. But let's see. We're gonna see uh, how your person, or how, who is obsessed with you, what they are thinking about you, and what they wanna happen with you. Wow, so this person is really seeing you as a new beginning. Uh, they are definitely coming out of something. It's like the end of a cycle for them around something and the beginning of another cycle. Maybe they're coming out of some sort of other relationship and uh, this is very like new type of thing. Cause here you have the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. So the death card is all about, you know, endings and transitions and wheel of fortune is like turning a new wheel. You know what I'm saying? Going in a new direction. And then we have the ace of swords here. And this is all about new beginnings as well as uh, they could have, they could be ending a cycle that was kind of like painful, kind of went through a lot. Maybe a past relationship was built on a bunch of lies. Maybe it was really dishonest. And so they're kind of like, they're in a space of like coming out of that sort of thing. And then here we have the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. 
So they're seeing you as, you know, someone that they can count on, someone that is a lot more stable of a force or the potential to be a lot more stable, uh, bringing a lot more stability into their life. Uh, someone who is much more, you know, equal, like much more generous, uh, someone who, you know, they feel like they can be generous with you, you're also going to be generous with them, like it's not so much one-sided. Maybe in their previous relationship it was just really one-sided and so they're really looking for something more solid, something that feels better, something that is more stable, something that they can count on because they um, they might have really been left let down in the past and they're seeing you as someone that like they can relax with you know they can just kind of like lay it all let it all hang out and uh escape with and relax with and just like when they're around you when they're with you like all their worries and like all the issues from their past like they don't really have to they don't have to like worry about them they don't have to deal with them like with you they feel safe and like you're an escape from all of that baggage and then we have the three of cups the six of swords and the five of cups so they are you know they're really wanting to move away from the past from that past situation from that past relationship and they're you know they're still kind of in a place of just seeing a lot of the negative things you know they're still bruised they're still wounding they still have to heal but they're moving in the direction of you know, being able to enjoy themselves again, being able to enjoy, you know, you again or you now. Uh, we have the Three of Cups here, which is, you know, a very emotionally fulfilling card. You know, they want to go out with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to have a good time with you, but they're still carrying a lot of their baggage. They're still moving away from this past stuff. They still have, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to deal with, a lot of emotional baggage. So I'm not sure if they're wanting like, I'm not sure if they're ready for like a committed sort of thing or if they're even thinking about that, but they are really enjoying your presence. They're really enjoying your time and they're really enjoying what you're giving them. But you know, they've been so wounded and bruised and just had to deal with a lot of stuff that, uh, they might not be like thinking about a relationship or anything like that at the moment. Um, but let's clarify. Ah. Let's clarify the death card. Three of Wands. So they are look into new horizons. So it's like, you know, something has come to an end and they're just really ready for something new. Like they're ready to move on. They're moving out of that energy and they're looking towards the future. And, uh, you know, because it could have been like a really intense relationship or something like that, that they've had to move on from. And so it's difficult for them to like, you know, be in a real space of wanting to commit to anything. Like they're seeing what happened in the past, they're looking towards the future, but it's not like any solid kind of direction right now. They're just like feeling things out a little bit. And let's clarify the Four of Swords. The Queen of Swords. So, They might not be in a space where like they're super uh, open with you emotionally. They might be a little bit guarded and just kind of, you know, not really wanting to talk so much about things and just kind of like wanting to spend time together but not get real deep. So it might be 
uh, more surface level stuff that you guys are talking about or that happening with you or might feel that way because they're just not letting out a lot of their emotions about everything what's going on but it's I'm feeling that you can sense that there's some stuff you know that they need to go through or work through but you're like they're just not talking to me about it so there's a bit of a disconnect there um, let's clarify the six of swords The three of swords so yeah they're moving away from you know a heartbreak they're moving away from some difficult times they're moving away from potentially a really powerful intense kind of love relationship that they had and so you know they're not really I don't really see them as you know wanting to put a ring on the finger right now you know what i'm saying but it doesn't mean that they can't get there i feel like if this is what you're wanting from this person if you're patient if you allow them the time to um escape to relax to not have to deal with it which is like how they're kind of seeing you as being that place that they can be that with um you know just try and be that for them so that they associate you with like these good feeling emotions like they're not like that other person like they're so generous with me they're so giving with me they're so caring with me and stuff like that and just provide them a stability that they're really desiring that they weren't able to get from this person that they really wanted and just show up for them in that way and then you never know how things are going to unfold in the future but right now i just see them as a bit closed off a bit guarded and just working through their own stuff you know uh but let's see what the oracle has these cards get stuck together but we're just gonna go with what comes out all right so we have the snake spirit time to heal which yes it sounds like it's definitely a time to heal so just you know be their support that's what they're needing right now cow spirit the miracles are endless the miracles are endless so even if they seem like really shut down really closed off just really like they're not like like what is what is this you know it might just be like this is just the time and eventually it'll bloom into something really magical mouse spirit tend to the small things tend to the small things yeah so it's just the little things in our everyday life that make up life that's what it is so if you're tending to those little things you know simple things he likes they not he, they, <laughs> could be a he or a she. Uh, they like, you know, feeling cared for, you know, feeling like you are generous with them, like you're caring with them, like just that nurturing, you know, grounded earth energy. So it could be little things like making them a cup of tea without them asking, you know, just like those little teeny things that are like wow they're doing that little thing for me like that just makes warms my heart it makes me feel really good all right and then we're gonna end this oh no we have the other ones let's see what this oracle has for us We have generosity, openness, and the capacity to love. I love these cards, they're awesome. <gasps> generosity, openness, and the capacity to love. So yeah, if you're just, you know, generous with them, with your time, with your affection, and like not really expecting much back, uh, it's gonna help open them up they're gonna feel safe with you they're gonna feel like they can be vulnerable with you they're gonna feel like they can be themselves with you and work through their stuff and eventually you know this broken heart will mend and they will have the the capacity to love again so if you're patient 
open, generous, you know, things might flow in a go and, um, you know, they are, a, they're a creative, sensitive soul. So they need, they need that care. And then let's see, we're going to end this with a quote because quotes are awesome. And I have these little quote cards. So why not? We have start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. There you have it. <laughs> All right, my friends, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching me. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi group number three, welcome to your reading. Thanks for tuning in and joining me here. So we're gonna see who's obsessed with you, what they're thinking about you, and what they're wanting from you. Um, let's just get started. So we're starting off with the zebra. It says, let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. So this person might be a little bit shy, they might be a little bit nervous, they might really, really like you, but be scared to approach you. Uh, but let's see. So we're just gonna do a tarot reading and then we're gonna pull some oracle cards as well. All right, so this is like, okay, so here, okay, basically, first we have here the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is amazing, emotional man, okay? He's the kind of man that is going to be there for you, is going to hear you out, wants to care for you, wants to nurture you, wants to, like, be with you, you know, like, this is, this is, this is the man of man of your dreams, the woman of your dreams, whoever. Uh, and then, you know, they're seeing you as like, they're like, okay, I have a lot of options out there. I can go this way, I can go that way, but they're really wanting to move towards you and they're seeing you as kind of their, uh, their choice. They're picking you out of everything, any direction they could go. Like they're really interested in, in you and they want to, they want to approach you, you know, they want to approach you. They want to bring you some good news. They want to tell you what you want to hear. You know what I mean? Because maybe they're thinking, all right, I think she likes me. You know, I want to let her know I'm using her or he, but it could be either. It's just the words coming out of my mouth. Uh, I want to let them know that I'm really into them, that I really like them. You know, I want to give them that good positive news because I feel like they might like me too. But, you know, I saw with the zebra here that they might be a little bit shy. They might be a little bit nervous about doing it. They might not really know how to go about it because, you know, they are that emotional type. So they might be a little bit reserved in that way and just like, oh, you know, what if... They, they might think, okay, I think she likes me, but what if they don't, you know, and just a little bit like nervous about it. Um, and they're thinking that, you know, you're gonna bring a lot of balance into their life, a lot of sort of, uh, 
this just kind of like balanced sort of energy and they're really drawn to that. Uh, they think that you are, you know, a really kind of strong, independent sort of type and they're attracted to that about you because they're like, they're not needy, you know what I mean? Like they don't see you as someone who's going to be needy or just like, um, taking from them or using too much of their time like they're seeing that okay with this person I'm gonna be able to do any of my sort of things that I want to do and they can do what they the things that they want to do and there's not gonna be this like weird sort of like neediness like they're they recognize that you've got your own life going on and they're like dang like that's attractive you know what I mean because they are all about that sort of creative energy they're all about you know using the tools that they have to manifest the life that they want and they're really into um into you know personal power and being in your personal power and they're really attracted in those qualities in you because maybe they want more of that for themselves you know they want to be really strong they want to be really independent and they're seeing that in you it's like you know oftentimes we are the mirrors of each other so they're seeing that in you and like they're they're into that because that's what they want in themselves as well and then uh, here we have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Empress. So they are seeing you as someone who is really going to feed that creative energy. Uh, here with the Empress, they're seeing you as, you know, really connected in with uh, like the feminine energies of just nurturing and caring and like bringing a seed to life sort of thing and they're really kind of drawn to that as well as they're like you know with this person they're feeling like they're going to be on top of the world like somehow you you're you're gonna feed their sort of like ego gratification. Like they're kind of feeling like with you on their arm, like they're, you're the type of person they feel like they could show off, you know, to their friends and their family and they would just feel really good like having you by their side kind of thing. And they are moving in that direction. They are, see when this sword, this horse here is facing me, it's like moving in the direction of that. Like they are really into that kind of idea and they just wanna provide you with like a sense of stability. Uh, they want to give you, you know, what you're wanting as well. They wanna bring you stability. They wanna bring you just, you know, really supportive kind of ideas and energy and really build from a place of supporting each other. Uh, but let's see. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. You have the Seven of Cups clarified by the Five of Swords. So, they could be kind of like, you know, moving out of a little bit of struggle that they've had in their lives, a little bit of strain, and uh, they're seeing you as like this really amazing, you know, option that could be a potential in their life and they're all for it they're like i want to cut away this negativity from my life i want to move into this like beautiful i mean just look at this card <laughs> it's like beautiful celestial just like amazingness like they're seeing you as like a really like a charm like a prize you know like someone that they could show off that could be too why they have this like nervous nervousness about approaching you is because they just see you as like 
such a gem, you know, that it's like, wow, like, am I deserving of this? You know, they might not feel fully deserving because they are this kind of like emotional beings. Uh, they're like, I think that she likes me or I think that he likes me, but like, am I deserving of like such an awesome like person? Like they really hold you to kind of a high, uh, high esteem. They have really uh, high thoughts about you. They think really good of you. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords clarified by the Five of Wands. So yeah, definitely moving out of some struggle, moving out of some conflict, moving out of just some like intense times in their lives. And they're seeing you as like this solid, stable, um, just sort of like independent, you know, together kind of force that's gonna bring some harmony into their life, you know? So that's how they're seeing you. It's just like this really awesome, strong person, you know, that's gonna help them out. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. It was two, I was gonna use it, but it was two. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. Six of Wands clarified by the Chariot. So yeah, you're their prize, you know, you're giving them strength, you're giving them this drive that they want to claim you, you know, they, they're really motivated to get you on their side, to get you by their side because they feel like with you they can conquer anything, you know, they're like, uh, they're feeling like you're going to bring a lot of balance and just like strong, uh, forward moving energy into into their lives so you see these are both cards about balance here and balance so they're really wanting to move out of that sort of conflict out of that negative energy into just some more balanced harmonious uh strong existence and they're seeing you as someone who could be an ally in that and really kind of match where they're wanting to go they're kind of seeing you as where they're wanting to go you know and together you guys can move forward in that direction uh let's see what we have here from the oracle You have the squirrel spirit, the parrot spirit, and the whale spirit. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Yeah, so this person, you know, they might not fully believe in themselves. Like, they want to, they feel strong, you know, but they're just so emotional and sometimes they get a little bit down on themselves, which might be why they're a little bit shy, a little bit nervous to like approach you and stuff. So maybe they need to work on that a little bit, believing in themselves. Parrot spirit, watch your words. Watch your words. So, you know, maybe be a little bit gentle with them. <laughs> um, you know, be a little bit kind or just like, they might take everything that you say like really strongly and really to heart because they see you as being such a powerful strong independent person that like your words might cut deep and you might not even mean that you're saying anything mean or anything but if it's just a little sly little something uh, i might really affect them so maybe be mindful of that and well will spirit trust the great mystery Trust the great mystery. So no matter what is going on in life, it's always good to trust the universe, surrender to the universe, because what's gonna happen is gonna happen. So if if they come at you and you're like, um, I don't know, you know? 
I do kind of like them, but I don't know. You might just want to trust and hop in and just see because you never know what's going to happen. You, they might not be like, they might be more into you than you are into them. But even if there's just a little bit of kind of attraction, what's the harm in just entertaining a date or a couple dates and just seeing where it's going to go? Because you never know. Love could bloom. It's possible. All right. And then let's see. You have reflection, surrender, and the capacity to love. So surrender is like, you know, trust the great mystery. Surrender, trust the great mystery, trust what's going on. So, you know, if they're gonna eventually talk to you uh, and you decide to, you know, why not? Let's go for it. Surrender, trust the great mystery. The worst that could happen is it doesn't go anywhere and you realize that you don't like them, but you might as well just give it a chance. Also, if they are someone that, you know, you're kind of knowing who I'm talking about here and you're like, ask me already. <laughs> um, this could be also to trust in yourself and surrender the outcome and approach them, you know, and see if they want to uh, want to go out with you or want to hang out or something like that, you know, might as well. Life is short. And capacity to love. So I definitely see that there is potential here. Love could bloom. You never know. Trust the great mystery. And then we have reflection. So, yeah. They could be, you know, thinking a lot. It sounds like there was some struggle, some strain happened in their lives. So they might be in a time of reflection. And if things aren't moving as fast as maybe you'd want them to because they're thinking about all this stuff and, uh, you know, they don't really know how to approach you and stuff like that, you could always make the first move, you know? You could. You really could. It might be scary, but surrender. All right, and then I'm going to finish this off with a quote because... Why not? Quotes are awesome. Let's see what we have for you. I'd rather attempt to do something great and fail than attempt to do nothing and succeed. Yes, rather fail at something than uh, succeeding at doing nothing, right? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye, my friend. Mm. Oh,